Good morning. Welcome to Current Chem World. In this video, let us study electrical double layer. What is called electrical double layer? There are three theories to explain the electrical double layer. And what is called zeta potential? Okay. Okay. Where does electrical double layer occur? There are two examples. One, colloidal particles. Colloidal particles, for example, silver iodide, silver iodide, colloidal particles, are formed by reacting Ki and AgNO3. In, in the excess of AgNO3, okay, these colloidal particles are formed. Okay, this is one such colloidal particle. Okay, let us consider all the colloidal particles are charged because of their charge, they are stable. Why colloidal particles are stable? Because they are charged. Okay, now silver iodide is precip precipitated as colloid as colloid okay and this silver iodide absorb uh, silver ion since silver ion is excess sil silver nitrate ion silver nitrate is in excess silver nitrate is completely dissociated silver ion gets absorbed on the surface of the colloidal particles okay as a result of this it has acquired positive charge. The colloidal silver iodide colloidal particle has acquired a positive charge. And this is again, this silver ion is attracted to nitrate ion because it is in excess. And another silver ion is attracted to nitrate ion. So it forms a double layer you see this is one layer and this is another layer so colloidal particles form electrical double layer because they are charged okay suppose k in excess if k in excess then what will happen is it will be negatively charged i minus will be absorbed okay i minus will be absorbed therefore and k plus ion in the in this layer in the second layer ok so in excess of ki silver iodide colloidal particles are negatively charged because i minus are absorbed first and then k plus ion is attracted to i minus ok now the second example is electrode surface electrode Electrolyte, electrolyte interface elect, at the elect, electrified interface electrified interface see in electrolysis there are two electrodes okay one is anode one is cathode one is anode one is cathode the anode is positively charged okay and in the presence of electrolytes okay the electro the negative ions are attracted towards the anode so it will form a double layer as a result of electrostatic interaction it forms electrode electrolyte interface phase forms a electrical double layer okay there are three theories to explain the electrical double layer they are helmholtz double layer theory guy chapman theory stern theory of double layer okay The theories of electrical double layer are used to, to explain the zeta potential across the double layer and electrokinetic phenomena. They are used to, to explain the electrokinetic phenomena such as electroosmosis. You have studied electroosmosis. Electroosmosis is due to electrical double layer that is zeta potential this electrokinetic phenomena electrophoresis another electrokinetic phenomena is electrophoresis sedimentation potential and fourth is streaming potential these are 
advanced concepts you will study in uh, BSc and MSc. Okay, let us now see what is Helmholtz double layer theory. What it says. Okay, according to Helmholtz double layer theory, he treats this electrical double layer as two oppositely charged layers. There are two oppositely charged layers. This is one layer, this is another layer. Okay, at a fixed distance apart. At a fixed, uh, therefore, Helmholtz double layer, electrical double layer, consists of two oppositely charged layers at a fixed distance d apart. So, it behaves like electrical condenser. Now, it is equivalent to there are two layers of uh, oppositely charged, they are equivalent to electrical condenser of constant capacity because d is constant. The, these two layers are regarded as or considered as two plates separated by a distance d that is of molecular order of molecular diameter. They are separated by order of molecular diameter. Okay. Now, let us study what is zeta potential. According to electrostatistics, the zeta potential is the potential developed between the two layers, two oppositely charged layers is called zeta potential. The potential between the two oppositely charged layers is called zeta potential. Okay. It is defined as the potential between the two layers at d centimeter apart. It is represented by letter zeta. This is called zeta equal to 4 pi sigma d by capital D. Okay. What is sigma? What is sigma? It is nothing but charge density. How much charge per square centimeter? How much charge per square centimeter? Okay. And d equal to distance between the two layers. It is of the order of molecular diameter. And d equal to dielectric constant of the medium. What is the dielectric constant of the medium? On substituting these values, the zeta potential can be determined. So, this is the fundamental equation for explaining the quantitative treatment of electrokinetic phenomena such as electroosmosis, electrophoresis, sedimentation potential, streaming potential, etc. Thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe.